Welcome to the show, Kerry. Thank you. First up, uh, now, Kerry, you are C-E-R-I. I am. Welsh? It is. Ah, and are you Welsh? I'm... My parents were both Welsh. I see. OK, and where are you from, then? Devon. Oh, what part? We live in a little village just outside Exeter. Right, lovely. OK, and what do you do for a living? I'm a retired magazine publisher. OK, uh, and uh, what do you do now you're retired? All sorts of things. Um, lots of things with the local church and in the local community. Um, run a youth club on a Tuesday for the teenagers of the village and um, run a thing called Messy Church once a month. Right, OK, for the little ones. Yeah. All right, and if you were to win some money today, Kerry, what would you do with it? Well, my husband and myself, David, we've been um, all over Europe but never been to America and I really quite like to go to America. Any particular place you'd like to go? I'd love to see the Grand Canyon. OK, let's get you to the Grand Canyon, Kerry. Should we do that? Yeah, that'd be lovely. I wish you luck. This is the cash build around. It's correct answers worth a grand. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. The time starts now. Glenn Hoddle replaced Terry Venables as manager of what international football side? Real Madrid. England. <laughs> Breakaway and flying saucer are tricks performed with what spinning toy? Uh, a yo-yo. Correct. Graham Coxon's lead guitarist in what Britpop band? Um, pass. Blur. Used for laundry, the name of what machine goes after washer, tumble and spin? Dryer. Correct. Which tennis player carried the British flag at the Rio Olympics opening ceremony? Andy Murray. Correct. At the start of the play Macbeth, which king lives at Forest Castle? Mm, no, I don't know that one. Duncan. Who did Nehru replace as recognised leader of India's National Congress Party? Gandhi. Which one? <gasps> Indira. Mahatma. Ugh. Which director's first cameo appearance was in his film The Lodger? Um, Alfred Hitchcock. Correct. What range of hills in southern England? Not bad, Kerry. Great start. £4,000. Time now maybe to make some more money at the table. We're going to face a chaser. But, Kerry, who are we up against today? Will it be the Dark Destroyer? He's got the brain the size of his bald patch, and that is big, by the way, mastermind champ, don't forget. Or could we be playing the governess? If she got sent to jail, the guards would dig the escape tunnel. Or maybe, though, we're playing the beast. There he is. He once gave me a piggyback, and I got altitude sickness. Perhaps, though, we're playing the vixen. So hot, she needs fireproof thermals. Or are we playing the cinnamon? So smug, he doesn't get the bus here. He arrives on his high horse. <laughs> Who do you want to take on? Anne. That was short and sweet. Yeah. Right, OK, time to bring on the chaser. <laughs> Not Anne at all. It's our other female chaser. It's the Fulton Brainiac and ukulele playing. Brilliant. Jenny the Fixin' Lion. Hello, Grand Canyon Kerry. Hello. Four's not bad, but it could have been five if only you'd not spent so long laughing at your first answer. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah. 